Hello everyone, that's just a dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and a setup on this Ring Spotlight Camera Pro. So here's everything that comes in the box. Now the first thing we wanna do is take all the plastic off, rotate this bottom to the unlock position, take it off, we wanna pull the battery out. There's a piece of paper in there we gotta take out. Now getting that out can be a little tricky. You wanna press that button and pull up. There, we wanna get that piece of paper out of there, okay? Now we need to charge this with the cable that it comes with. It doesn't come with the wall charger. Plug this into USB-A. This is micro USB. You're gonna plug it, it only goes in one way. There's a short side and a long side. Plug it in. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure these are charged. So when both lights are on, it's not charged up all the way. When the amber light goes out and only the green's on, that means it's fully charged. Okay, so once it's fully charged, now there is a spot for two batteries. It only comes with one battery, so if you want this to last longer, you can put two in. But there's a one and a two, so put it in the number two, or number one spot, sorry. Put it in, you'll hear it kind of click, make sure the battery's in. Now this door goes back on, but we want to find there's a lock and there's a screw. That's called a keeper screw, and there's threads right there. So kind of line that up with the unlock, push on, and rotate. Now we don't have to tighten that screw. That's just a Phillips screw. If you want to uh, keep it secure, you can tighten it, but if you loosen it, it doesn't come out. There's the blue light, meaning it's starting, it's powering up. So we have a speaker, we have lights, we have a motion activated camera. Let's talk, oh yeah, when we have this, we're gonna scan that QR code to set it up in our app, but. When I've got this off, if I want to change, I can rotate this bracket around if I need a different angle. So you just slide it out, slide it in the other way, and it'll end up up there. But there is, surprisingly, a USB-C right there. All right, let's pull that in. There's a, that's a watertight plug right there. All right, it's powered up. Let's talk about the bracket. So we are gonna mount this bracket to the wall. You can mount it either this way or that way. Now, if we look back here, there's, there's little hooks. So push up and this will come off. Now we're gonna mount this to the wall, but there's screw holes on this side and this side, but there's four screws. You get enough screws to mount it to the wall. I find two or three is pretty good, but you should put all four in. Now when, when this is on the wall, you're gonna find these hooks, and I'll show you. So when it's on the wall, you put the hooks in and then slide it down. Now here again, if I wanna keep it nice and secure on the wall, I can tighten this screw and it's not gonna come off unless somebody undoes that screw. Now, if I need a different angle, I can turn this around and see how this is angled up now. I can do the same thing all over. Push it on and down, tighten the screw, and you're ready to go. That's gonna be loose until we install it. You're gonna install this. It kind of like snaps in. Okay, now it's in. Now you're gonna tighten that down just a little bit if you need to. You know, you can tighten that down so that it's nice and secure. Okay, I've got the bracket mounted to the wall again. You're gonna find there's like a half moon here or a half moon here. That's either up or down that way. So I typically like mine up. So find the half moon, put it in, put the feet in, now push down. And it kind of snaps into place. And you may want to tighten that down. It does help it stay more secure. All right. Now all we do is snap in the camera. You gotta kind of push hard. That ring, that, that Phillips screw on the back, all right, now we can position it to whatever angle we need. If you find you need a different, if you find you need it down more uh, at a 90 degree angle, switch that bracket around and you'll get more of a down angle, downward throw, but you can move it any which way. Okay, so it sticks out from the wall, looks like about six inches. You know, it's three inches. Up down's about five inches. But again, here's all the different angles you can put that at. And you could mount that to the ceiling and get even more. Okay, so in the, the Ring app, set up a new device. And this is going to be a security camera. We're going to scan that code that we saw on the side. So with this device, I can turn the light on. Or I, if it senses motion, I can have it turn that light on. It has a really nice audible siren that it can turn on. Even if it senses motion, it can turn the siren on. But it's got a really wide angle view of camera. This one also will connect to the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi. And it has bird's eye. So 
you have bird's eye view. If you have other ring cameras, it's a pretty cool feature that there's like a Google Maps of your house and it you can you can show on that map where these are at and then you can see where the motion's coming from with all the other uh, cameras superimposed on that map. So it is kind of a neat little feature. But you got it is better if you have more than one camera hooked up and pointed in different directions around your house. So I hope this unboxing and setup video helped. Thanks everybody for watching.